All right. I haven't made a video for a while, but uh, that's because we haven't had any projects to do. But this is a new one. 1973 Honda CB754. It's uh, got a um, front fairing on there. Cafe racer style. Pretty clean original condition uh, but make some changes and uh, a couple of things the fairing I think I'm going to take off because it's just not practical to ride with it like that but um, it looks pretty cool all right so you're gonna have to excuse the wind here a little bit it's um, pretty pretty windy all right so I took the fairing off well, actually, it kind of slipped off, but um, as you can see, it's um, fairly clean, a little aftermarket uh, air filters there. Um, I don't know a lot of history about the bike. I got it at um, an auction, and... Um, Looks like the motor's uh, been rebuilt, at least that's what they claim. Has uh, a little bit over 12,000 miles on it, and I would say that's probably consistent. The frame is in good shape. Obviously, I think the frame has been, you know, painted and stuff like that, because it's super clean. And uh, as you can see, these uh, Allen head bolts all the way around, all the, uh, the motor and everything, not stock. So those probably would have been Phillips head bolts. It's got this little Cafe Racer shifters linkage set up and foot peg. So I don't know if I'm going to leave it or if I'm going to put the originals back on. It's a little bit, um, needs to be adjusted at the very least for me. We'll get going. We're going to do the handlebars today and um, see how things go. All right. All right. Here's what we've done so far. We've got that uh, L loop in. Well, I'm no dialed in welder, but I think that. That will work. You can see underneath the frame loop there, you have to fill in those gaps. And just like um, the suggestion from Classic Octane, his channel, we got the tough side seat. And we can see I got it kicked up and should fit really well in there. You gotta trim off the old seat swivels. I'm using my 19, actually, it's probably 2000. I think I got it in 99 or 2000. Old school Craftsman 110 wire feed. Egg. And I uh, got the welds okay. <laughs> can be a better obviously but um, sort of what we're looking at and then obviously the shocks are off so it probably sit higher hopefully that back okay so I had a battery die there anyway um, this gap in here under the frame loop uh, I cut it off of the old one so I'm trying to cut that out right now and uh, then I'll weld it back in there as a little ramp and that should work well but it's a tedious process because I'm trying not to damage the old one enough so I could weld it back in 